So as you all end, so I'm just going to feed my five meter line. There's some fish reform meal pellets, a bit of corn, and then a small piece of paste, just to sort of like kick, kick start the peg off. They have give themselves a wake, so I just blow on it, so you know when there's a few fish there. And then I'm going to go straight across, I haven't primed anything, as you can see. So I'm literally just going to go straight across, 15 and a half meters with my ugly rig, half a gram. And then just literally feed in a few four mils with a pinch of micros in, which quite quickly realized definitely don't want to be doing that. Wasn't sure how it's going to fish because it was like quite cold today. The first time wearing my fleece for God knows how long. And also it was, it was cold. It was all like misty at bird lit when I was driving up. Um, so yeah, just a bit concerned how it was going to fish. So went on the uh, side of Koi. Um, so just tap the pellets in. I'm just going to lift it up and then just drop it. There was lack of fish moving around as well. When Andy turned the aerator off, um, there was a few fish starting to move. There you go. So I'm just using a browning short kit. Just got 1.8 solid core hybrid elastic. 018 mainline. Half a gram rig. 3 inch hook length. 014. And size 16 T911. Nothing special. Fish fight really hard. Fighting fit fish. It's a good start. Maybe two pound of fish. You can see on the far bank is quite deep, and that's one of the shallower parts of the uh, bank. So just fishing a six minute spander. I do realize soon to cut out their micros. Only put like a smallest pinch of micros in. Apologise for the camera angle as well. Obviously, he hasn't picked up the uh, end of the pole. These little tiny lifts don't want to strike out of those you'll um, strike the hook bait off. There we go, happy days. Beauty of the elastic for a short kit, it does power up quite quick. So you can use like lighter elastics and say a standard top kit. So 
So these are a good stamp for the leg. Definitely catching the idiot fish at the moment.
Bina. It showed that there wasn't really many mugfish to be honest, I didn't see hardly any cruisers. Um, began to miss a couple of bites and things were beginning to fade so I'm going to drop on this pace line now. I'm not going to big pot it on the far bank or do anything like that, I'm just going to leave it to just let the fish regroup. There's going to be a few pellets obviously knocking around, not a great deal. I'm just going to feed down my edge. Now my right edge is really deep. And to be honest with you, as it turned out, even though I plumbed around, there is some sort of snag. Five meters to my right, just off the bank. So I did snag up into it twice. I don't know if it's a branch or something. So I did change my margin line from a top five to a top kit to my right. So I'm just using my seafood expander mix for my paste. And then just loose feeding a few four mils down the edge.
So what have I learned from today? Well, nothing revolutionary. Um, definitely just want to feed four mil pellets against the far banks and soften down fishery pellets. Just, just cover them in water, nothing fancy. Just leave them to soak, don't put too much water with them. So you just want them to stay like a pellet form. So basically just tip the contents of the whole bag. I fed a whole bag and just literally in a free pint container and just level it with water and then make sure you turn them around don't just be lazy and just leave it so put them in a bucket and turn them around so that the bottom pellets don't get too much water if that makes it all the water um so i fished a great big rig half a gram rig three inch hook length 018 to 014 looks really really crude not pretty but it does the job which is the most important thing but the trouble is is that the fish did start to come up in the water and started to miss a few bites which is a little bit frustrating you know ideally could have maybe started a new line against the far bank to the right but it's even deeper and i was worried that because the temperatures rate ri risen and maybe i've caught the idiot fish that that would be even worse so then pegs on kingfish that are a little bit wider in my opinion they're a little bit better this time of year because you're going to get in that bit more shallower water which is really, really important. So if you're fishing Kingfisher, my advice to you, this time of year, you wanna get in the most shallowest part of the, of the water as you possibly can on the far bank. So make sure you do plumb around. Um, when it did go iffy, I, I knew that if I started pinging pellets against the far bank, it would be carnage. So I didn't really wanna pick up a catapult. If you do wanna fish shallow, I think you wanna come about half a meter or even a meter away from the far bank two reasons because the water then is deeper so I think it gives the fish more room to like fluctuate up and down and also gives them somewhere to back off and I just think they just potentially feed it just maybe a little bit better but that's just my opinion um, the guy next to me is pink pellets against the far bank and fished against the far bank and it's just been carnage for him bless him he's lost quite a few and I've done that before so definitely I feel that you want to come away from the far bank probably get less bites but you get cleaner bites which is obviously really important I did a catch a few fish short and then it went a bit iffy mid-match as it always does and then to be honest with you I did catch well pace 16 meters against the far bank well 15 and a half meters against the far bank and that was quite good but it's quite fiddly because obviously you miss a bite or waiting for a while for the bite and you're not sure if the pace has come off or is it still on so you just ship back so it's not always the most productive way of fishing the fish were definitely slightly bigger um, and if you can get them going I, I probably had a good like eight fish and eight puts and then it just gone a bit iffy so you had to rotate the lines corn definitely is, is beginning to work pace will stop working soon which probably some anglers be very happy about some anglers like me be a bit gutted about but hey it is what it is as they say on love island um, I found feeding corn and fishing paste over the top is definitely better in a deeper water. So if you're fishing like top five or top six, don't really want to be feeding micros really. So if you fish like fishery micros, feeding that, it's just carnage. You get loads of blows, loads of missed bites, get really frustrated. So you're better off feeding corn, maybe a few four mil pellets, but ideally just feed corn and fish paste over the top. A bit like Alf Church really. Um, They've done me well. I've caught some quite good fish and, then, and I've done the same down the edge. I fed three tins of corn and a bag of four mils and I put half a bag of micro pellets in, uh, as in like, uh, whatchamacallit, in the bait box, but probably only used, I don't know, a big handful. So didn't really feed any micro pellets. Um, but it's all, all on the change. Didn't even feed any maggots neither. So I literally just fished paste down the edges over corn and a few four mils and then again pace short and then pellets long so uh, nice cheap day really so uh, happy day